Hello and welcome to HD Calcs. I'm Rick and in this video we're going to have a look at how we can use fractions and decimals on the Casio FX 9750 G3 calculator. To do that we'll use the shift key that looks like this located here, the menu key that looks like this located here, the fraction key that looks like this located here, and the S to D key that looks like this located here. When we enter something into this calculator, like for example, one divided by two, it gives us the results as a decimal. If we want to see that as a fraction, we can use the S to D key here. So if we press that, we see that 0 0.5 has changed to one over two. And we can convert back with the same key, S to D, there we go, our fraction has changed back to a decimal. If we're given fractions and want to enter them on the calculator, like say this, 1 over 2 plus 3 over 4, you can enter them using the fraction key, this key here. So if we press this, we get two boxes that we can fill in. So for this we go 1, then scroll down and press 2, and then to the right, there we go, there's our 1 over 2, plus, and then the fraction key again, 3 in the top box, scroll down, 4 in the bottom box, there we go, we have 1 over 2 plus 3 over 4, and we press EXE, and we get 5 over 4 is our result. If we want that as a decimal, we press the S to D key, and see we get 1.25, and we can convert back and forth with the STD key if we want. What if we have mixed numbers, like say this 1 and 1 over 4 plus 1 and 1 over 2? To do that, we use the shift function of the fraction key. That's here. So to enter this, we'll start with the 1, and then we press shift fraction key. This allows us to enter mixed numbers. So we have 1 over 4 here, and scroll out with the right, there we go, plus 1 and 1 over 2, so there's our 1, and then the shift fraction key again, and then we enter our 1, scroll down, 2, and then to the right to bring us out of the fraction box, there we go, we have 1 and 1 quarter plus 1 and 1 half, and we press EXE, and there we go, we get 11 over 4, and if we want that as a decimal, we can press the S to D key to convert our 11 over 4 to 2.75, and back to the fraction, if we want, of 11 over 4. But what if we want a result as a mixed number? Well, to do that, we use the shift function of the S to D key. So we have our 11 over 4, and we press shift S to D key, and we see that converts to 2 and 3 quarters. Which, again, with that same S to D key, converts to a decimal of 2.75, and then back to our improper fraction if we want, and then shift S to D key to our mixed number. As we've seen, this calculator gives us an improper fraction as the default result when converting. So if we had, let's say, 11 divided by 4 equals our 2.75 and converted that to a fraction, we got 11 over 4. But what if we wanted to default to the mixed number result of 2 and 3 quarters? To do that, we press Shift Menu, which brings us to this menu here. And if we scroll down to the third option here, Frac Result, you'll see it's set to D over C or Improper Fractions. We can change that down here. If we press F2, we select the Mixed Number Result. There we go, A, B over C. Now if we exit out of this, and do 11 divided by 4, 
First we get our decimal, and if we convert that, we get the mixed number of two and three quarters, which again can be converted back and forth to the decimal format. All right, I hope this helps, and good luck on those tests out there, everybody.